Hi, welcome to the M Kitchen. I'm Pete and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious fig honey and pistachio tart. So let's start with the dough. First of all, sieve the flour. Add the sugar. And the softened butter. And rub in to a fine breadcrumbs, being careful not to over rub. And add the beaten egg and add a little water and bring together the dough ball. Wrap it in some cling film and pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes to allow it to relax. Now I'm going to roll out the pastry. Let's slightly dust the surface with some flour. Take your pastry and roll it out and line our tart tin with it making it a little bit bigger because it will shrink back while you cook it. Just press it into the tin. Don't worry about the edges, we can tidy them up once the tart is cooked. To line the pastry, take a greaseproof paper, fold in half and in half again. Fold in half one more time. Hold point to the centre of your tin and then cut. Gently press down and then fill with your baking beans, some dried pulses, rice or peas. This will just weigh it down during the first cook. So let's pop it in the oven now for 12 minutes. Now we're going to remove the beans and the paper. Place it back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes until it's pale golden brown. So let's make the filling. Let's add the butter, sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla paste. Now beat together until light and fluffy. This should take about five minutes. Once it's nice and fluffy, you can add the eggs. Top tip, place down a cloth, the bowl on top of it, this will prevent it from moving as you're adding your egg. Add your eggs about one at a time and beat vigorously. Now fold in your almonds. Remember, don't knock out the air you've just put in. And now we're gonna fill the pastry case. Take two tablespoons of raspberry jam and spread across the bottom. And let's fill with the almond mix. And place your fig halves in a circular shape around your tart. and return it to the oven for another 25 to 30 minutes. Once it's cooked and while it's still warm, brush with some honey and finally sprinkled with some chopped pistachios. If you can, let it cool slightly. Take a big wedge, served with some whipped vanilla cream. How great is that?